Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Authorities are suspecting foul play after actor and comedian Donnie Davis dies in Las Vegas. Police say they were called to a hotel room 5.30 a.m. Tuesday at Resorts World and found Davis turning blue, biting his tongue, and that their, quote, might be foul play due to the number of other subjects in the room and having trouble getting any information from them. Two witnesses said that they uh, were with Donnie Davis and he started to turn blue, his jaw was frozen, his hands were cold, and he was biting his tongue. Davis died in the hospital. The 43-year-old was known for performing with Britney Spears and Chelsea Handler. And we're learning more about the death of four-year-old Mason Dominguez in a deep hole found in the home of his mother's boyfriend. Police say the hole was likely planned as a grave site for the little boy. The mother's boyfriend, Brandon Toslin, who's accused of killing Mason, made a second court appearance today. His lawyer says he's being housed in protective custody. And the Apollo Market in central Las Vegas is in shambles after a two-alarm fire early this morning. The market is a total loss. It probably was burning a considerable amount of time because it was closed before. It burned through the roof where people could see it and call it in. A Mexican restaurant next door suffered moderate damage. No one was injured. In health, the People's Convoy heading for the nation's capital, demonstrating against mask and vaccine mandates, react emotionally to the turnout. Review Journal's James Schaefer has the update. The national anthem kicked off the departure of semis, motorhomes, and other vehicles. Arriving at the first stop, it was clear emotions were still palpable as truckers remarked that they were still overwhelmed with Wednesday night's turnout of support. It's amazing. Just the camaraderie and everybody, just the love and all the support. I mean, I, I, I don't cry. I, I've been crying. Back at the truck stop, the owner of a pink semi by the name of Lucille had some reactions to the crowd as well. I don't have words for that. I don't. It was, it was awe-inspiring. It seemed like everybody was in a good mood. Nobody got upset. It, it, was, it was awesome. The People's Convoy organizers say the fleet had a peak of 300 to 400 vehicles and will be continuing to their final stop of Washington, D.C. on March 5th. For the Las Vegas Review-Journal, I'm James Schaefer. This protest comes as COVID cases are falling, leading many states to ease mandates. The Pentagon has approved 700 National Guard troops to assist with traffic control at the nation's capital. Now to business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Caesars Entertainment is reportedly inching closer to selling off one of its strip casinos. During the company's earnings call, CEO Tom Rieg says, quote, the next time we talk to you about a strip asset sale, it will be to announce that sale. Caesars Entertainment has been discussing selling a strip asset for years since Eldorado Resorts acquired and merged with Caesars in 2019. However, the pandemic delayed those plans. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Keep your sweaters and jackets on hand for a while. Another chilly night with temps dipping into the 30s again. On Friday, another cold but sunny day with a high of 58 and low of 35 degrees. The forecast now shows some clouds rolling in and temps back in the 60s on Sunday rather than Saturday as previously forecasted. On Monday, the skies should clear out and the temps should peak to the 70s through Thursday. In lifestyle, hotels and casinos changing and swapping names as part of the city's DNA. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer explains how the rebranding helps Las Vegas casinos. Renee? Jen, rebranding resorts and casinos is a practice nearly as old as Las Vegas itself. Take the Hard Rock. Last March, it became Virgin Hotel Las Vegas. Now the Mirage is going to become the Hard Rock. Caesars Entertainment owns the current Bally's as well as the Horseshoe name, which it acquired when it bought Binion's Horseshoe back when Caesars Entertainment was known as Harris Entertainment. Park MGM opened as the Monte Carlo. Casino Royale was Knob Hill. The downtown Grand had been the Lady Luck. Ellis Island originally was the Village Pub and Silver 7 scrapped the name Terribles. 
Bally's is becoming the horseshoe while the Trop's becoming Bally's. You don't really, you don't normally see them playing musical chairs like that, but rebrandings go on. They go back almost to the beginning of Las Vegas back in 1905. Once the dust settles on the makeovers at Bally's, the Tropicana and the Mirage don't expect that it will be the end of rebrands. After all, the Fountain Blue was referred to as the Drew and JW Marriott Las Vegas Boulevard before reverting back to the Fountain Blue, and it's not even open. Jen? Sports brought to you by Station Casinos STN Sports. Download the app today. The NFL Draft will take over the city of Las Vegas April 28th through the 30th, and the Raiders are currently scheduled to make their draft selection at number 22 overall. NFL reporter Adam Hill gives us a look at a defensive player the Raiders could select with that pick. I'm going to say that Kair Elam from Florida, probably a good fit. Not only is he a very, very talented player at corner, but he's very physical, very strong in man-to-man, and that's what the Raiders are going to need. Patrick Graham, their new defensive coordinator, has been very clear that he is going to blitz a lot more than Gus Bradley did. Kyer Elam may be the most physical and most ready to play man-to-man at the NFL level, and that's what the Raiders need. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden State Warriors are 4-1 to favorites at the Westgate Superbook to win the NBA title as the season resumes after the All-Star break. The Brooklyn Nets and Phoenix Suns are next at 5-1, followed by the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks at plus 750 and the Philadelphia 76ers at 8-1. Further down the board, the Miami Heat are 12-1 and the Utah Jazz are 20-1. The Los Angeles Lakers are 30-1. In Entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Three local chefs are now semi-finalists of the prestigious James Beard Awards. Among the best chefs in the Southwest region is Gina Marinelli of La Strega, who specializes in coastal Italian farm-to-table cuisine in Summerlin. Jamie Tran of The Black Sheep serves casual modern Vietnamese-American food in Las Vegas. And Hong Rei Shin of Big Don Sang Shi Taste boasts traditional fare in the heart of Chinatown. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. See you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.